Today we're at the Little Silver Vein Mine, yep. I guess, in Cobalt, way up in Canada with me miner. And what we're going to do is we're going to just take a quick walk. This is a public like park site, but it tells you all about the silver mining industry here. And I think it'd be very interesting for me to learn and probably for you guys too, because we got some good videos, don't we? We do. All right. So let him take over from here. The bottom of a two billion year old ocean. You can see it's wavy. So as the waves compa uh, compacted the sediments, they, they left the waves that were that made it intact. And you can see it goes up 30 meters, 40 meters. This is the main mine. This is the main This is the main trench. Main trench. I'm gonna call it a mine. It's a mine. <laughs> it is a mine, right? I guess I don't want you going down in here for a reason. So let's take a peek at it. Wow, look at that. Tell me why, I mean, if that's an ocean floor, why is there silver here? The hot water came up, intruded through the existing rock, formed veins, and some of these veins contained precious metals. That's basically the vein that they dug out then. Well, the vein yeah. that dug out originally, they spotted the silver up top, and they uh -huh. mined down about 30 feet. Yeah. Then they dug an audit so a, uh, a, a horizontal shaft into the side of the mountain, probably following another vein. Down below, yeah. you could probably call that an audit, yeah. but they started with the trench. Trench, up top. yeah, because it's from open on the top. Yeah. Cool. And it's, and it's just, if you think about it, if a man was working in there, it's almost the width of a man. So it was pretty tight for the guys that were And they blasted there. that with like they black powder it. and stuff? Yeah, dynamite. <laughs> All right, so we've got a little bit of a history of what these silver mines look like. Now we need to go find some silver. What do you say? Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to do it. But we'll not, take Daisy with us. Yeah, but not, not, Rita, not here. Daisy. Not here. <laughs> yeah, this is a park, so we can't look here. So, But we've got some good places to go. Right? Excellent. Because you keep telling me. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a mine tunnel here. See, it's called a cool cave? The locals call it the cool cave. Oh, why? Because it's like really, oh my God, it's like a blast <laughs> of cold air. I thought maybe it was because it was really, like really neat, but I guess it's because it's really, oh wow. It is so cold in here. It is blasting cold air. It just dropped to zero degrees. Wow. Well, that's centigrade then, right? Zero degrees, <laughs> yes. So, say zero Fahrenheit, it's pretty, pretty cold. Yeah. Okay, I guess I got to gate it off so it can't go in there, but. You can see some light. Is that another shaft? That'd be a shaft. I guess. I do have a flashlight, so let's see what we can see. Maybe there's a bear in there. Or a moose. You ready? I hope there's no eyes looking at us. Wow. Hey, what's that? I guess that's is that a rail for like a cart? That's for the ore carts. Oh wow, it's wood. It would be Wow, that's cold. Oh no no no. I think that's a uh, a sluice way. Oh, sure. Yeah, okay. Well, it looks like a sluice. Yeah, you can see yeah, it's kind of um, um, U-shaped. So, wow, that's cold. Looks like eyeballs in the rock right there, doesn't it? Oh, it does. That is cold. I'd love to be able to get up in there. It's probably loaded with silver nuggets. Yeah, I don't think I could stay here more than about 15 minutes. Cool in more ways than one. Let's get out of here. Right. The reason why it was so cold back there, you're saying it's because uh, I guess the ice accumulates in there. And there's so many openings, a draft comes through, and as the ice melts, it's just like a, just like a freezer. Right, but it's never dry. Yeah, and it's it just, uh, always ice. it was cold. <laughs> We're just kind of walking up this trail, and uh, he's gonna tell me a little bit about what we see at each stop. So what do we see here? This doesn't look like a very big mine. No, this is no. very small. What's going on? This would have been blasted out by the, the miners back in 1903 to 1905, and it was exploratory. So oh. what they were following was, in this one, nicolene, which is a bit of green stain. Oh, you this up here? Stain? Well, that might be a mold there, but yeah, that's, okay. it, it's likely some nickel in there. So following the nickel to see whether or not it yeah. would turn into a silver vein. So this one probably didn't? This one didn't, otherwise okay. it would have gone for... Okay. Hundreds of yards. And in a few minutes, what we're going to do is we're going to look. Was that the main mine we went by already? That was the main one. Okay, there's, there's a big audit further along. Okay, and we're going to look at that. So definitely check that out in a few minutes because it's really kind of scary and huge. How much uh, silver do they get out of these, this mine in this area? I don't know the ounces, 
but it was about $5 million in 1980 prices for silver. Wow. So 1980? I thought this was older than that. Oh, I know. It was just they extrapolated the day. Okay. So when silver was $3 an ounce, yeah. they, they took out almost $5 million. Wow. That's a lot of silver. This yeah. is a pretty cool place. Have you ever been up here? Never been this far. Go the extra mile with the chick though, huh? We do. We That's make right. Mark. Yep, let's do it. So we're taking a little side trail and you're going to show me some trenches? Trenches that were, would have been dug by hand when they didn't oh. have any other methodology to find the veins. So with shovels, picks and shovels, they dug down to bedrock just to see what the bedrock looked like. And if they didn't find silver there, they moved over 50 yards, did another trench. These forests for miles are filled with this kind of handwork. Wow. It's That's hard too because it's really rocky here. Yeah, not only is it really rocky, but the roots are terrible. I can't imagine digging these things. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see where they dug it all out and they down, went down to the bedrock, right? They, they were hoping for silver, of course, yeah. or indicators of silver, which would have been cobalt, nickel, or calcite. Calcite, yeah. Well, that's a lot of work. Now, would these guys have been like just like hourly workers digging these for the most part, or? Yeah, it was probably owned by one one company, and then they hired men to work. Yeah, them. it's like really hard work, probably for not much pay. I would think. Right, but better pay than other areas. But the expenses for living up here were high. Yeah, I can imagine. We're heading up to look at this uh, trench up there where Daisy is. There's some uh, nice strawberry plants here, but they're only in bloom. Remember just uh, in one of my first videos up here just a few days ago, we were actually eating the wild strawberries. That's how much further north we are and how much further behind they are in the weather. This looks just like a road up here. All right, so here's another one of the trenches that they dug. You can see all kinds of diggings up here and it just kind of goes along the edge of this road. So I noticed that whenever you see fences, it usually means something up here, like you're about ready to die if you go through the fence. What do you think's here? Think it's some mine shafts? Uh, a hazard. A hazard. <laughs> hazard. What kind of <laughs> to hazard? Put it, to, to put it mildly. Yeah. You don't want to fall in any of these places. Oh, that oh there, there's wow. There's a shaft there. And... Look at this. Okay. See a shaft there, but this other one over here, look at that. That thing could go down 100 feet straight down if you're just walking through the woods. It'd be all over for you. There's another hazard over here. Looks like there might be a shaft right right down there, but there's some big holes over there as well. It's quarter ride? Yep. Where those were, yeah, definitely. Uh, That's where they were laying the beams or uh, logs across so it wouldn't sink in the mud. Right. All right. So I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, so I'm, see, see the uh, railway tunnels? Yeah, definitely. It's got big spikes in it. The big spikes? Is this where they got out? Yeah. Out? That's where they got out? <laughs> going to be talking like that before it's yeah, over. They went out in the boot? Yeah. Oop, oop. It looks like it was cut with an axe. The end of it looks like the old axe cut. Oh, sure it was. You can see the uh, little slices in it. That's big old nail. Railway spike. Pretty old, yeah. Ash and metal detect here, huh? All kinds of coins, silver coins. I don't think we, I wonder what these are. What's this? These combs? Do you have one. any idea? Oh. Ask the what? Ask the viewers. Oh, dude. I thought you were asking me. Oh no, I was asking you. Oh, I have no idea, man. Do you have no idea what those things are? No. If you guys know what those things are, they're pretty weird. Let me know. Probably no one out there is going to know what these are. I mean, they got to be like highly specialized. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they're combs. Yeah, I think we might have to head back soon. I got all these mosquitoes on me. Jeez, they're feasting. She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets. She's promised to keep hidden in her...
dirt.